about to do a walkthrough of Blake's toy chest here in Lexington, North Carolina. We've been coming here for years getting all of our cool toy stuff and we've been seeing them at conventions and toy shows. So I kind of wanted to do a walkthrough of their store. So stay tuned, there's really cool stuff ahead. All right, so we are entering the back room with all of the cool displays we got going on. So the first one is a magazine rack and it's got a lot of cool wrestling magazines um, and some uh, anime ones as well. So it's one of the first ones you see. And then these are the new Joes that they just got in. They just got like a whole bunch of new ones. So you should definitely come and check out what they got. They got a bunch of new Joes in. And then this section's kind of like the horror slash sci-fi section. So we got some Predator over here. Um, we got some Pops, but like, look at this Pop display for a second because it's a coffin, right? How cool. Um, and then we go over, so we got some Star Trek. We've got some Godzilla. Um, We've got some McFarlane stuff, Fice, uh, Farscape, Fireflies, Charmed, Spawn, cool stuff, Pirates of the Caribbean, Xena, there's your like horror stuff right there with the Pennywise and Sam, we got Aliens, Gremlins, um, that's pretty cool, we got some Rocky, some Scream, really cool displays up here, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I like that Beetlejuice, that's cute. But yeah, this is a really cool display on their part. Um, I love that poster. It's a really cool poster, by the way. And then we got a Beetlejuice poster over there. Oh, we got a new Goosebumps poster over there. But yeah, look, tons of sci-fi and horror stuff over here. So if you are a sci-fi and horror fan, this section back here is for you. And there's tons to choose from. Um, yeah, I thought this was really cool. Check out this Rock Lords puzzle, by the way really neat but yeah we got planet of the apes some more star trek we got a negan with baseball bat lord of the rings king kong more godzilla we got mcfarlane and um creepy chucky and the tiffany doll so very cool all right and then you got a tv right and you can game over here so they got PlayStation, they've got GameCube, it looks like a PS3, and they got a, yeah, two PS3s, PS2, PS3, awesome. All right, so, Hellraiser, yep, yep. And then, we're coming over here to some glorious Transformers, and we got some Voltron. This is the case of robots, pretty much. Um, and it's kind of cool to see what they have. Like there's, oh, I like that Tron robots. Seeing a transformer hanging out over there. Um, this thing that I want badly, like really bad. Um, transformers and then check these out. These are really pretty. I'm not gonna lie, it's really pretty. And then if you scoot over, you've got Power Ranger stuff. And thank goodness, I don't think I need any Power Ranger anything, so I'm kind of good there. So, cool. Again, more Power Rangers. Nice, right? Megazords. And then I actually really like this. This is the $6 million man, like, rocket ship thing. And I think it's cool. It's like his capsule. So, like, he would just lay in there and hang out. And I actually think it's kind of cool. And, like, comes with his backpack and everything. And then these guys, my husband has had his eye on these for a while. Um, have not pulled the trigger on them yet, but I'm sure it's coming. And then we have a bin of like cool paper stuff. And I actually got stuff from this bin already. Um, so you're gonna have to stay tuned to see what it is. But see, we got like Turtles books, Alf, Home Alone 2, Golden Book for Bam Bam. Um, this is Batman Returns, Go Bots. This I thought was kind of cute looking. Snoopy. And then, I'm not gonna lie, it was a funny movie. Um, James Bond, see a little bit of everything back here. Peter Pan, Disney, Winnie the Pooh, more Alf. Judge Child, nice. Fred and Barney, Treasure Island, Rombat Head. See, this is just the cool stuff that I like to look through. That's just me. All right. 
got a journey to the center of the earth puzzle and then we got some backing cards down here my husband already went through these and found out which ones he wanted so what we got like you know J. Joe, TMNT, really cool backing cards. So that's neat. Then we got um, some Dungeons and Dragons stuff, which I think they're really cool. See? And then um, we got some Ninjago. And I don't think I'm going to pass up the Transformers that are over here, too. See? Transformers. And then we come into the dino section. My son would lose his mind over here. This Jurassic Park, Jurassic World random dinos for days um he would probably get a kick out of this giant jurassic world dinosaur but uh he's not gonna have it this one's really cool actually i kind of like that one um i kind of dig that one too he looks lazy and tired so i, I don't know i just kind of feel like he's my spirit dino oh um, we got an egg here just kind of cute my son would probably like lose it he'd love that this thing is rubber, which I really love the toys that are like this. They're super squeezable and they're super cute. I like them. So yeah, that is Dino Land, right? Really cool. And of course we got some more dinos up top too, along with some Star Trek and a robot. Let's see, more dinos, more dinos. All right, and then it brings us to the cars. So we got a section of all like Hot Wheels, Matchbox, different stuff, right? So, oh, this is really cute. I actually really like this one. This one's one of my favorites. Oh. It's labeled a six-wheeled space vehicle. I don't know. I kind of like it. And then we've got some, like, older vintage toys over here, right? Oh, that looks like Chuck Norris, doesn't it? Um, but yeah, like, we got the space station, everything, and, like, rover landers, and... A very, very fuzzy yo-yo, which is very disturbing. It's a flocked yo-yo. That was weird, weirder than I thought. That's like a Keebler elf thing, I think. And then this is really neat. So this is a Micro Machines combat carrier. I think it's really cool. My son has a bunch of these, um, the Micro Machines. He's like really into them. But if you see it like fold out and it's like a whole base. So... I think that's kind of neat. Um, he has like a little garage that I don't know if you guys saw on one of the videos that we did, but it's kind of fun. All right, and then we have some more of the cars, right? And then we have some strawberry shortcake. Um, I never really made it into strawberry shortcake. Um, I think it was a little bit before my time, but oh, I didn't see that hiding back there. Oh. Well, that's neat. Um, and then Barbies, 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 and some strawberry shortcake. Um, so luckily I have these Spice Girls. I remember having this as a kid. I'm not going to lie. And I like it and I want to play with it. Look at that crumbed hair. Check it out. But yep, yeah, this is the Barbie section of new and old. Tons of really cool stuff. We have a gem one over there too, right? And there's Barbie outfits too. So it's cool fashion candy contest we got some brats nice cool december barbie then we've got some like cinderella ones and we also got a cowardly lion so that's cool and then coming over we have got some pops really nice everybody's got to have a pop selection somewhere i'm telling you we got some loose and we got some boxed that's really neat Okay, then this is one of the back rooms in here, so it's pretty cool. You just come into a room filled with toys, and I love it. So we got some dollar comics, and I definitely picked some up myself. I'm not going to lie, but you're going to have to wait and see which ones I picked. Um, but yeah, comics, comics, comics. And this is where mo mostly the superhero stuff is held, along with the comics. So we got a mix of Marvel, a mix of DC back here. We got some really cool board games. I really like this, like, slap car situation for Batman going on over here. Um, and the Happy Days board game, not gonna lie. But yep, this is the Marvel DC section. That's cool. I like it a lot got some busts we've got some um multiverse figures right i really like that batman animated series collector case that's cool too along with some play sets and these are really cool i was eyeing these a little bit earlier these giant comics i think they're really pretty 
um, they're king size stories. I don't know. I just think as a kid, that's pretty cool. All right. We got some more figs up there. All right. And we got a bunch of loose ones too. So that's neat. Again, a really cool collector's case. I like them. Batman animated series is one of my favorites. So, all right. So this is the comic room. All right, guys, stay tuned. I'm about to head to another room. All right, so we've got some more stuff. So we got Transformers, right? Well, obviously some Beast Hunter Transformers. Cool, right? I really like that. Um, Devastator, but this is the whole like Transformers wall of all things needed to be collected. Um, actually kind of like that. I might admit it. But yeah, we got some new, we got some old. Let's see. Cool, right? Very neat. But yeah, this is the Transformer section. I dig it. And I actually really like these, like, a lot. I really like the packaging. I love the figures inside. Like, overall, it's just really appealing to me. And um, I'm not going to lie. If I got it, I wouldn't be mad. And then we actually have this guy. We do have this bus somewhere. I don't remember where we put him though. It's a good question. I'm gonna have to ask my husband where we put him, but we do have him. He's probably put away in the Grimlock Shrine, but again, more Transformers. Very cool, right? And then I'm very jealous of the sign. This is like an arcade sign from the Turtles I want. All right, so this room, this room is like half Star Wars with some wrestling and then random figures. So this is probably one of my favorite places to come to look at the random action figures. Um, they're loose and you get to just take a look and see what there is. So like, for example, we have some Remco, we have some um, Thundercats over here, we have some small soldiers, we have some D&D. &D. Um, we have the, oh, those ninja guys that we starting to collect. Um, God, these are the sna snail warriors or snore something. I can't think of the name right now, um, but they're cool and I like them. Um, we got some Dick Tracy. We got some um, Power Rangers. We've got a whole bunch of stuff. Like Strawberry Shortcake, Jurassic Park, Pirates of Blackwater. Very cool, right? And then we have another little Power Ranger section over here. Um, and then I'm not going to skip over these lunch boxes. So we have a turtles lunchbox we have a scooby-doo one and i was contemplating this one it's a um, princess of power one we got some metal ones it looks like um peter pan and the partridge family God, i don't think i've ever watched that i'm gonna be honest with you um and then we got you know we're getting into our um anime stuff with our dragon ball z and everything and this is kind of cool that looks fun. I would have liked that as, as a kid in the 80s if that came out. And then that kind of rolls over into the wrestling section. Um, I'm going to lie, it's not really my section. I wasn't really a wrestling fan at all. But that's okay. That's okay. And we got some cool stuff. Like that's a really cool collector's case. And we have a Goldberg body complete with tattoos. I mean, dress like Goldberg. I know they had a Nash one over here, but like. For real, this one's got like a whole chest situation going on. It's kind of impressive. Um, that's kind of cool. And then we kind of segue into the Star Wars section because every place has to have a Star Wars section. So um, we got our Star Wars Black series. Misa thinks you like Star Wars. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we got some old and new. Which, yeah, um, I don't know if there's any old back here, to be honest with you. Well, we got some new, and that's good. So, yeah, more black series, some mugs, just, I mean, Star Wars has such a huge market for things. Um, well, there's old, there's a collector's case, right? Um, but yeah, Star Wars has such a huge market. There's everything for everyone. There's so many variations of the characters and so many different form factors. Like it's just a huge, huge, um, marketing empire. I'm telling you. So back to some transformers and some beast wars. I like beast wars. I'm not going to lie. I think they're fabulous. Um, 
I don't think it's going to be something we're going to collect in the future, but one never knows. You never know, right? Then we got like some gargoyles. Tick. It's El Cid. Oh my goodness. Um, that was probably one of my favorite episodes. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, Captain Courage, Street Fighter, um, Desert Shield. We got some chipmunks, Wizard of Oz. So yeah, that's, that's kind of neat. All right, guys. So this was the back part of the store, right? So stay tuned. I'm going to take you to the front part where I find most of my stuff. So stay tuned. All right, guys, it is time for fun on this side. This is where I get most of my stuff. This, this whole section of the store is when I, when I run right to the door and run through the door, I come right here. So we got Joe's. So we got some big Joe's stuff right here and we got some little Joe's. Um, but see, you got like your whole vintage stuff going on around here. Vintage and new, a little mix match of everything, right? But that's cool. I like it. And we got, you know, our big Joes, the space shuttle, and then look, our big vehicles. That's the best part about GI Joes for me are the gigantic play sets and the gigantic vehicles because I can't imagine, okay, imagine being a kid and you know, you might have not have to imagine too far because this was you. Um, being a kid on Christmas day, getting a box under a Christmas tree or for, you know, whatever holiday you celebrate, birthday, whatever. Having this wrapped up, having it under the tree or at a birthday party and you open this like can you I, I can't imagine like i envy you 80s kids and these cool toys that you had because i would have absolutely loved to have them and that's i think that's why i collect the toys that i collect now because um i have 80s envy oh i probably just created something cool 80s envy uh, i definitely wish i would have had the cool toys but look you got go bots right and then we got a collector's case so that's pretty cool we got some new joes um i'm not gonna lie i'm not a fan of the zartan just just not that's just me but you know i mean it's what it is um again more joes really like that sign right and then look look at that that is so cool to me like i just i just wish that i would just wish i had that all right, and then we come over to this section and I've pretty much cleared out this section single-handedly, by the way, I'm not gonna lie to you, um, Ghostbusters. So um, as you can see, stuff's missing because I have bought a lot of stuff from here that's Ghostbusters. I almost bought this today too. So this is like a little gumball machine that I thought was really neat. Um, and I absolutely love it. Um, so yeah this whole section of ghostbusters i'm so glad because i own these now thank you chad um so i don't have to go get them and then we have some voltron down here voltron inbox which is super cool i think this is the i like it i like it a lot all right and then oh i forgot there's more ghostbusters up here i like them as well and then oh defenders of earth and then we've got firehouses um one of these days i'm gonna have to bring my firehouse out from under the house so you guys can see it but it's complete um gi joe kite and then we've got um some more gi joe vehicles right i actually kind of like that one not gonna lie um and then we got some masks as well um these are all masks this is not gi joe um but yeah no i really like that that's super cool i like that van too um and then we move over from mask to the masters of the universe so oh that grizzler is scary um i didn't even see him before he creeps me out but yeah this is all the master stuff we got um a little bit of vintage and we got a little bit of new um like 2000x like i really like this one and we actually have this guy under the house but um but he's broken because i broke him on accident i didn't know any better um we got a hordak chest plate we got some vintage vehicles we have um a 2000x castle we got a vintage castle we've got shira castles right and then we've got um some of the new stuff as well which is super cool um but yeah and then we got some um shira which is good we got the mega constructs which is good um and we got like little books for the uh, the mini comics i like those and then we got some boxed, some loose we got a really cool um, color form set up there. And then 
kind of want to show these off. These are neat. Um, attack track replacements, right? Because we all need those. I'm serious. We do. Uh, we got some more reactions. And then this over here, don't get me started. It's really cute. But yeah, that is the section of the store that we, we like come here and pillage every time. Um, this Masters of the Universe section. So yeah, it's, it's super fun. We come over here and we, we buy up all the toys, not gonna lie. And then we've got a whole nother comics rack over here, right? Cool comics rack. And then we got some more Star Wars, some more Transformers, some like vintage Star Wars goodness, right? And then some more figs. But yeah, overall, this is Blake's. This is where we come and hang out and buy a bunch of stuff all the time. So if you ever get a chance and if you're ever in Lexington, come check them out. They have really cool stuff, really great people. They are super sweet. Blake is awesome and he's really great and deals with his customers and just the whole store overall. And they have a cute puppy here too. So, all right, guys, I will see you next video. Bye. Hey everyone. So we have reached a new milestone and I'm really excited because finishing one milestone means I can go make another one. So I would like everyone to make sure that they're continuing to comment, like, and subscribe on the page and get your friends and family to do it too. Um, because the more the channel grows, the more fun stuff we get to do. So I wanted to let you guys know, um, we're gonna still do giveaways and such um, with the comments and the comments have been reset um, at the 150 mark. So any videos after January 10th is how we're going to count the comments going forward. So make sure you're commenting on the new videos that are coming out. So I'm thinking um, our next giveaway is probably gonna be at the 300 subscribers mark. And I think it's very doable. I think we can reach it and I'm really excited and looking forward to it. Um, so I think I, I don't know. I don't think I know what the prize is going to be yet. So it's to be determined. Um, we'll see. And you know, I'm always taking suggestions. So if you want to put something down in the comments that, um, some toy that you would like to see as a giveaway, just let me know. Um, so yeah, and it could be another, um, winner's choice. So who knows? And don't be disheartened. I know some of you think that 300 is really far away, but who knows? I may just do a random giveaway in the middle just because I like doing giveaways. So stay tuned. I may like put a secret word in a video that if you are the first one to find the hidden word, then you get a, a toy or get a prize. So who knows? So stay tuned. Um, and I appreciate you guys as always and help me reach my next milestone. I'll see you soon.